Hare Krishna. My name is uh, Dr. Niranjan Das Adhikari, Professor of Mechanical Engineering. The definition of karma can be given on the basis of Bhagavad Gita as it is. There it is mentioned three types of karma. First one is Sakam karma or fruitive action. Second is Vikarma, the karma which are against the Vedic principles. Third one is Akarma. All these three karms, they give different types of results. For example, Sakam karma or fruitive activities, they can be pious or impious, punya or pap. When you do the punya karm, like plantation of trees, digging of wells, distribution of medicines, blankets, they are the punyas or virtuous activities, then you can be elevated to higher planetary systems like Bhulok, Bhuvarlok, Swarlok. Similarly, if we perform sinful activities, sinful karmas, and because of that, we can be sent to the down planetary systems. Punya is like the Lakshmi or money in your hand. So with that money, we can go to five-star hotel, enjoy, and when the, the money is finished, you are being kicked out. Kshine punne martilokam vishanti. So when your punya are annihilated, you come down. Second is your vikarma, the activities which are against the principles of Vedas. Like, Vedas say you have to speak truth, and we speak lies. Vedas say don't commit theft, they are committing the theft. Vedas say be merciful on the jivas, we are having the slaughterhouses. So they are vikarma, which means they are prohibited activities, drinking. But akarma means there is no reaction. Akarma means to work for Krishna, Krishna consciousness. That's the meaning of karma yoga of Bhagavad Gita. You have to perform action, but for whom? But for Krishna. So there is no reaction. In akarma, the Newton law of motion, that every reaction has action, that is, doesn't apply. So that karma is the surrender to Krishna, just like we have a board gauge. We keep something and give on loan. So we have to take more care of the things which are mortgaged. Similarly, this body is given by Krishna and we can perform the different types of karma in his service. So we have to take good care. A devotee, when he falls sick, he goes to doctor for serving Krishna, but a mundane people, he goes to doctor because his sense gratification is being hampered. So this is basically the karma about the Bhagavad Gita. Hare Krishna.